Okay, in this example, we're given some um, information about a function named g, um, and then we're asked a question uh, about this function. Um, so the information that we're given uh, about the function g is in the form of function notation. Uh, we're told here that g of minus 10 uh, is equal to uh, minus 8. Uh, so recall that um, g of minus 10, uh, that function notation indicates that the output uh, that matches um, the input minus 10 uh, is uh, minus 8. So uh, in function notation, g of minus 10 means uh, the output uh, that matches the input minus 10. Um, or in other words, this is the y value uh, uh, that matches the uh, input, uh, the x value, uh, minus 10. So this um, matching output value, this matching y value for an input of minus 10 and x value of minus 10 is uh, minus 8. So what that tells us is that if we think of uh, this function g as a relation, then um, uh, the, or the ordered pair minus 10 uh, minus 8 is going to be an element um, in that uh, relation. Remember, a relation is a set of ordered pairs. So this function notation just indicates to us that the uh, ordered pair minus 10 minus 8 uh, is part of uh, this relation. Uh, remember, all functions are relations. So um, if we interpret uh, this ordered pair as the coordinates uh, for a point, then uh, we would know that the point minus 10 minus 8, the point with these coordinates, um, is going to be a point on the graph um, of the function g. And so um, this is how we would fill in the blanks um, in this example.